finishing up a couple projects here. Got a floor roller and a uh, ATV car to put together here. But since I'm doing projects right now, we're going to work on something pretty simple tomorrow in class. So I figured, why not film it for you guys? Let's get crafty. Okay, so we're going to be making a shepherd's hook. And if you don't know what a shepherd's hook is, I'll put a picture of it right now. They make great gifts and it makes you look like you really know what you're doing with very little effort or money. All right, so today we were learning how to use heat to manipulate and to bend metal. Um, so we had a couple projects that we were working on. We also made deer hangers. Uh, we're gonna make this pretty standard size, five foot tall, eight inches sticking in the ground, um, eight inches out, six inches down, inch and a half up on the actual hook itself. And we're gonna put a little spiral twist in it with heat. We're just gonna use an oxyacetylene torch this is a very simple design, very basic design. I've done it with eighth graders before. We're gonna make it out of half inch square stock. You need two pieces, one 16, which will be this piece right here, and one 83 and a half, which will be one continuous piece right here. And uh, you can set up a jig if you want to. If you're making a bunch of these, you can set up a jig, weld something to your table, weld some angle, weld, um, you know whatever whatever you want to use if you want to bend a bunch of these but for our purposes we're just going to keep it simple we're going to lock everything into the vise and bend it that way all right so we got our pieces our two pieces here laid out i'm going to mark them eight inches just where the bends are going to go inch and a half and then six inches down from that, seven and a half. Eight inches down from there is 15 and a half. Like I said, you can set up some sort of jig if you want to, but we're gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna use the vise. So what I'll do here is just kind of level it to make sure that when we bend it back, everything lines up nice this first bend where the actual hook is we're going to bend it all the way down take it back out and tap it with a three pound hammer to bend it over 90. Um, my brother's texting me he's in erie catching steelhead well i'm at work that's cool so ideally what you would do is change this out for a rosebud tip, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to throttle back my gases to make sure it doesn't get too hot. The idea is to heat this until it starts to glow red. As soon as you start feeling the metal give, take the heat off it and go ahead and bend it. You don't want to make it too hot. You don't want to run it too long where it starts throwing yellow sparks off there. It's too hot then. You risk damaging the metal itself. I'm gonna reheat it again. Okay. Put it back in the vise. Level it up. Now this time we're gonna just bring it 90. All the bins are on the same side.
make sure you're bringing it down straight. Make sure you're bringing it down straight. It, make sure it's 90. Now for the next part, we're gonna clamp it in like this. And this is where it really helped to have two people. Really, this is a two person project because if you have two people, you don't have to constantly be shutting your torch on and off. I'm gonna clamp these vice grips on here in opposing directions. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat probably a six or eight inch area here i'm just going to keep running back and forth on the heat till it starts turning red and when it does i'm going to then take these vice grips and twist it to put a spiral in there and you want to try to heat evenly the best you can where your spiral is going to go also just remember that as you're heating that this side's going to want to droop down so if you're so if you're working with someone else make sure that they're keeping that back side propped up because as that heats to red it's going to want to fall down Don't over twist it. Try to get it lined up the best you can. And while it's still hot, remove it from your vise. <clears throat> and now's when you're gonna try to straighten your piece out. All right, finally, don't forget about this piece. Remember, as you're heating this, the heat's radiating throughout this entire piece. So just to be safe, it doesn't hurt to clamp a vice grip up here to move your piece. Next grid marker piece here. Come up eight inches. Mark. Gonna grind the mill scale off here where it's gonna be welded together. You could put a little bevel on it too if you want. Square it up. Be afraid to lay it on there a little thick. And there you have.
have a completed project. That simple. And then, again, this is another one of those craft fair projects that sells for way more than what you can make it for, and it's not that difficult to do. Obviously, at this point, you're going to want to get some sort of spray paint on it. You can add and subtract whatever you want to. You can put another hanger off the back, or you can uh, put some sort of design, names, letters, you know, whatever you want to. You can customize it and do whatever you want to. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you would, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.